Today, I'm going to go over Warzone and Phantom Pain Cage, the two most important weekly missions and challenging content in the game to do for both new and old players alike. This is going to be a quick guide. I'm going to try to get in and out of this as quickly as possible and show some tips and tricks on how to do these both as efficiently as possible and why. To start off, we're going to go into Warzone. Warzone, I think, first of all, we should go over the shop and why you should do it. In the Warzone shop, you get Leap Wafer Chips for pretty cheap. This allows you to upgrade some older characters uh, and like ascend them or leap them, however you want to call it. Uh, you also get Uniframe Single Crystal. Uh, those are basically a leap chip, but for your Uniframe characters. You can get six star memory resonance material pick cards, which is the most important thing in here, in my opinion, because it lets you choose the resonance and get rid of the RNG of a lot of min maxing your characters in the late game. And you can get a bunch of six star uh, memories of your choosing, which I would not recommend getting because the events every patch or so you get them way cheaper. Now, in order to do this the most efficient way possible, you have Monday through Thursday, or sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you have the first cycle. You get two um, areas per cycle. You can only unlock one each day, so you do have to stagger them day by day. And in each cycle, you have three areas to beat, two of which become auto-clearable if you have cleared them before at full points. Now, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you get the second cycle, that second cycle being this exact same uh, kind of way, but different areas. Uh, the biggest thing is if you miss the cycle, you miss the weeklies, because <clears throat> the weeklies require you to first time clearing a Warzone stage 12 times total for the week. As you can see, you get three, six, six per, um, rotation and you get six at the latter part of the week so if you miss it there is a trick that i will go over right now that allows you to still kind of get the rewards the trick is you go to area one you die it counts as a first clear then you clear area one also counts as a first clear and you do that for every area on the back half of the rotation and you'll get 12. <clears throat> Something else that you should know about is kind of what the content entails. This is mostly a lot of small to maybe elite type enemies that you have to fight in a AOE type setting. So if I start the mission here, you will see that it's just a bunch of waves of enemies oh, oh, that you have to clear as quickly as possible. So it's just kind of a bunch of waves of enemies that you have to clear as quickly as possible. To unlock more and more waves so that you can clear the content and get the best score. And the best score you get, the better you will get the rewards. And the more rewards you get, the less RNG building your characters will have late game because you get more of those six star um resonance choice tickets this is important to do every week because you get about a thousand black cards from it uh alongside punishing pain cage together they make about 1200 every week which is very important because that is how you're going to mostly as a free to play at least to guarantee each important banner character so there's a lot of benefit of doing this and as you be in the promotion zone with your score, you go to the next difficulty, you get more awards, and it just it's very beneficial for every player to do. The next one, though, is much more beneficial for every player to do, and that is Phantom Pain Cage. Phantom Pain Cage, I'm going to start the same way with Warzone by checking the shop. Why do you want to do Phantom Pain Cage? By doing so, you get these skull token credits, right? and you spend them on character shards. You can do A ranks and S ranks. I recommend only using them for S ranks because all of the A ranks are farmable once you have the characters. 
and you want to get the S rank ones because this is how you're going to, as a free to play player, get to SS rank with most of your S ranks. Uh, SSS rank and SSS plus rank are largely not going to happen because they would take months and months and months and months and months to get to. However, if you really wanted to, you could super invest into one character and get them to triple S rank. Now, the way you play this uh, type of game mode is you have bosses every single week that you have the whole seven days of the week to do, but you only have so many challenges per day. Your challenges depend um, on the difficulty that you fight. So this is a challenge, that's a challenge, that's a challenge, that's a challenge. You get four per weekday, eight per weekend. And uh, the biggest thing you want to do is just make sure you are clearing the hell difficulty. You are unlocking it and clearing it for the most score possible. Um, and your weekly mission will basically clear itself other than score. Score is going to be a little bit harder, which is why you need to be playing the hell modes. The biggest tip and trick for this area is how to unlock the levels quickly without running out of stamina because you your characters have only so many times they can fight in punishing pain cage i'm at one out of five stamina right now because my bianca has been used to clear these four and that is the trick. If you can clear these four, or even if you lose, you still unlock the next one. So losing them um, and sandbagging a little bit till unlocking hell difficulty is worth it because hell difficulty has a drastically higher score you can usually achieve. And then maybe you can play chaos as well to get higher score uh, to really maximize your um, points every rotation. But you use one character to do test elite night and chaos then you get to hell you do that for all three bosses then you take your good team characters and you beat the bosses with the best team you can build against them because they do have weaknesses this guy has um armor where he has increased damage reduction from tank omni frames you want to be playing not tank omni frames against him because he has armor against them um, Alpha here has uh, increased damage taken from Rosetta and etc 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 so you want to be trying to maximize the amount of points you take uh, and minimizing the time you usually would take so Monday you would do all the way up to chaos here and unlock hell Tuesday you do the same here Wednesday you do the same here Thursday you can clear them all or Saturday you do it here and here Sunday you do it here and clear the hell across the board it's pretty easy to do if you're playing every day and you're going to really want to because the rewards are very important for building your s rank characters this content though does get harder as you can see I'm intermediate rank right intermediate not intermediate intermediate uh, for whatever reason and this is the second tier of rank the bosses do get harder the higher rank you are and you will promote to the next rank depending on your level and I believe your um, point score in the ranking. <clears throat> I could be wrong on that. It might just be your level, but essentially it's going to scale. Your level is going to scale with how strong your account is. So once I get to here, I'm going to struggle again. And once I get to here, I'm going to struggle again. And as you can see, most players are using pretty much entirely meta teams and have very SSS plus ranked accounts across the board on all characters to clear most of this content because this content is difficult. Uh, except for down here, it's like a bunch of jank. By intermediate onwards, it's a bunch of players using actually built teams for the most part, and that is because th this content is hard content. Uh, as of right now, from what I have access to, this is the hardest content in the game for me. It might not be the hardest in the game, but this is very difficult content for me to uh, try to beat well before it wasn't. So if I fight the hell mode of this guy, I'm going to probably struggle because he just whoops my ass he just kills me but it's worth it to get as many points as possible 
to get more of the skull shards so that I can SS my plume or my luminance, especially my luminance because she has way more longevity on my account. Plume will get replaced by a free to play character at some point in the future, later this year, maybe early next year. So it's very important to be investing in your S rank characters and making them better because you get extra passives as you go up to SS rank and SSS rank and sometimes SSS plus rank. And those passives usually are very important, especially the ones at SS rank. Those are usually the ones that really make the character actually useful uh, in higher level content. But overall, <clears throat> those are the two content types you need to be doing every week and kind of how to do them, what they're about, and some tips, uh, tips and tricks to do them in the most efficient and best possible way throughout the week. You definitely need to be focusing Phantom Pain Cage though. It is the most important one by far because it is going to make the biggest difference on your account power-wise. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that this information was helpful to you all and I hope you get the characters you want from the banner and i hope you get them to ss rank and i hope you have a good time with the game i'll see you guys next time peace <laughs>